given a lamp and a screen are set up 100 cm apart and a convex lens is placed between them. The two positions of the lens forming real images on the screen are 40 cm apart. What is the focal length of the lens? See, it's a very, very good question. It um, tests your conceptual knowledge to the core. Okay. So, what is given first of all? First, we have a lamp, right? Let us say this is the object, which is our lamp. And then you have the screen. The distance between the lamp and the screen is fixed. Okay. That is given as 100 cm. And they are placing the convex lens at two different positions. So, let us say the first position is here and the second position is here. But these two positions are in such a way that the final image is always forming on the screen only. Okay. So, that means the object and the image are not changing. The lens position alone is changing. And the distance between the two positions is 40 cm. Okay. So, in the first case, the lens is placed here. And in the second case, the lens is placed here. Now, the thing that is um, main point for this uh, answer is that if let us say, let us just take an example. If u is equal to 10 centimeter and let us suppose that the image is formed at 50 centimeter for example. Okay. Then if I place the object at 50 centimeter from the lens, the image will be formed at 10 centimeter. Okay. So, you can see that the values are interchangeable. If u is 10 cm, v will be 50. For example, just an example. Then the same if u is 50, v will be 10. Okay, so this concept we have to understand and apply in this, in this question. So let's begin the solution. So we have the two lenses, the distance between the two lenses 40 cm. So let us say this is the first position of the lens and this distance is x. So, what is this distance? This is going to be 100 minus x. Okay. So, we have x. Then you have this, uh, this distance 40 x plus 40 plus another value. Okay. So, let us say that is also equal to x is equal to 100. Okay. Because x plus 40 plus x is equal to 100. Right. So, from this equation, we have 2x is equal to 60. From this, x is equal to 30. That means, if x is 30, that means if this is 30, this position is going to be 70 centimeter or this position can be 70 centimeter and the remaining portion image will be formed at 30 centimeter. So, this is the idea. So, we can take x equal to minus 30. In that case, your image is forming at v equal to plus 70. Okay, which is 100 minus 30 or we can also choose u equal to minus 70 centimeter and v is equal to plus 30 centimeter. In both the cases, you can apply and find out what is the final focal length. So, 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. So, we choose this one. We have 1 by 70 minus 1 by minus 30. So, that is going to be that is going to be 1 by f is equal to 1 by 70 plus 1 by 30 and that will be 30 plus 70 divided by 70 into 30 which is 2100. Okay, so that is 1 by f. So, from this equation f is equal to 2100 divided by 100. So, that is equal to 21 centimeter. Okay, so therefore option C will be the correct answer.